I'll tell you the story of the lost book of prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people covered crave this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Oh, what happened to me? Where is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Huh? Bowser! Nice, dude. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Hi, Peach! Aha! Uh -huh. Hi, Peach! What's going on here? Count. Yeah, okay, so preparations are complete. Mmm, then it shall be begun by Count Black. Bowser, ferocious and fearsome, evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? Whoa! Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes! Peach, noble princess pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? No, wait just a second. You will explain what's going on right now. <laughs> it is it is not obvious this is your wedding princess. But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? Whoa! Hey, no gripe from this side of the altar, black old boy. I don't get the details, but the count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this. Just relax, we'll get married, we'll be in love, it'll be awesome. Finally! No, and you pick this dress out, it's awful! Take me back to my castle immediately. Yeah, um, being rude to the esteemed count is sort of frowned on, okay? So yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no! Gee, you sure are a fighter, but yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do. Say it now, okay? I do. What? Huh? Is that Princess Peach over there? And that guy is... Hey! Blech! <laughs> yes, all precisely as written in the Dark Pronasticus. Already it is unleashed, the Chaos Heart. Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Count. And just who you are, asked Count Black. Oh no, I don't give I don't give my name to scoundrels. Just watch it as Luigi punishes you for your mad for your badness. Here I go. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, Kay. If you interrupt this now. Here's 
Super Luigi Rescue Princess Peach. Uh, yeah, so are you alright, Count? Cool. Well, this acts like these will earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well, as the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Uh, so, yeah, Count, this means you may now turn a new page of the Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness! Consume everything and destroy all worlds as told in the prophecy. Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And this is Eternal Sunny D. And we're here for Super Paper Mario. And this, believe it or not, is my first playthrough of the game. So, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yay, saving settings. Don't care. Ugh, oh, stupid saving settings. Ah, oh, here we go. More of this long, long intro. Wow, well, sure is a peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yup, really peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit boring. It makes you want... Just to want a kablooey, you know? Some kind of shocking event. Oh, at Princess Peach's place. Maybe. That'll be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. It has been a while. I'm sure the princess will be happy to see you. Why are you so crazy? It's shocking! Mushroom Castle raided! Princess Peach stolen! What? Why is that? Why that's ridiculous? Who in the world would do such a thing? Wait a second. Yeah, I think I got it. Bro, this must be the work of the guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. And I will never have to do that Toad voice again. Except for right now. We're counting on you, Mario Brothers! Okay. For realsies this time. Never have to do that again. <laughs> Thank God. Toad's voice is always annoying. Yeah, it is. Whoa! Listen well, my elite minion task force! It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine! And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. Yeah! Whoa! We're under attack! Your jokes are the best! Hey! Who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions! Blah! Mario! And Luigi! How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open. How many times have I told these idiots? You're the last in, lock the gate. Quite too big, Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now watch your put Where did I? Wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario! Black! 
Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You wait, by who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of a dark pronosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you it doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Count Black! Enough! Release Princess Peach right now! I'm on a schedule over here! Count Black says never. This princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecy. She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Destroy all worlds. Oh no! Big bro! This man deserves ridicule, weakling cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You come down and free the princess, or else. <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. <laughs> <laughs> Black. Complex preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> well, that was lovely. Yeah, it was. Mario. Mario. Hey, listen! Are you awake? My name is Tippy. I'm known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Yeah, we couldn't tell by the annoying glow. No, so you're saying, hey, listen. Mario, I came to find you. The great Deku Tree needs your help. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess as an evil king. Is that not so? Yes. Yeah. Then that means Count Black is even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. And they're gone. And they're back! Oh ho! Well, well, well! Back so soon, Tippy? And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash? Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero of the Light Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is, is in no dimension at all. No, it is between dimensions. My name, Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. Ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not yet told you, I gather? Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Huh. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? Yes. It is a hole in the very dimension fra fabric of space, such a strange phenomenon. It is not near or far. None know it may appear sh small now, but it will only grow. 
And in the end, it will swallow all resistance, all worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the dark pronosticator. Fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And then the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. Yes, <clears throat> the passage Tippy just quoted is from the Light Pronosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Not can stop it unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task, so it is, so it is written. Hey, that looks like a pure heart! This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the heroes spoken of in the pages of the Light Pronacticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. <laughs> Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Are we? Excellent! You truly are the hero of a book of legend. My eyes never deceive. So. <clears throat> Mario, our brave hero, take this! You got the heart! <laughs> you got a pure heart! Your heart has been thrust into your possession. Ew. Now, great hero, Mario. Your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this tower. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. When up appears on the red direction to examine things or talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we're not following Tippy. We're going this way. Oh, Why? I love this way. Because it's shortcut! Ow. Oh, Mario just let it fly out of his face. Come on, please. Now we'll follow Tippy. But she's following you a little bit. Oh, never mind. This is the heart pillar. Now, get close and place the pure heart. Yes, Navi. Although I will admit, Tippy has way more personality than Navi. Ugh, Navi. If the AI hadn't been screwed up in Ocarina of Time, Navi might have been useful. Might have been useful, but wasn't useful. Yeah. Whenever I didn't need help, hey, listen, no, I don't need help, Navi. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you're an idiot. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin. And, of course, we have to go the long way since we can't super jump our way back to the top. Uh, super jumping. And elevator. I don't understand why there's tracks for it that go beyond where it stops. I, I don't know. It's it's a weird town that you know we live in now. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. Um. Okay. If you've ever played Super Paper, if you've ever played Paper Mario before, you know what that block is. Yeah, it's a skip block. Yeah. Blockers. And there's a lot of them in this game, all over the place, especially where you don't need them. Oh, Merlin's Merlin out. Merlin is out. Wow. Whoopsie. I wonder where he's at. Could he be back Fun. where we left him? Hmm, maybe. The world may never know until... Right now. Oh, there he is. Never mind. Oh, the two of you returned. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. 
Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find the spirit heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. You got a return you pipe. pipe! Yay! With this, you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. In other words, speedrunning tactic. You can even use it in Flipside to return right there. A light pronacticus were told that the hero will meet a dimensional governor, and from him the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the flip wizard, Bestopia. <laughs> so go now for the store and seek out Bestopia. Anyways, I think that's all the time we got for this episode, so this is Man of the Black Hat. And I'm Eternal Sunday Dude. See you later.